Hello everyone, welcome back to next session on MATLAB programming. In this part, we're going to cover one of the most important engineering concepts and uh, sort of functions that we need in different fields of engineering. And that's exponential functions, exponential number, and uh, logarithmic functions, which as you know, they're used a lot in every field. The first part, we're gonna start by the E number itself. As you know, E equals to 2.718 and we just show it by the letter E. But if you type that in MATLAB and hit enter, you see that it's not interpreted as exponential and MATLAB does not recognize it in the same way that we had seen in our textbooks and classrooms. The way that we're gonna learn the exponential in MATLAB is through using exp function. So if I say exp1 means exponential e to power 1. If I do that, the answer is going to be 2.718. If we just do that, it means exponential to power 2 or e to power 2, which is exactly equal to 2.718 to power 2. And this is the way that we're going to interpret exponential. Again, similar to trigonometric function and the conversion of the radians into degrees, this is also very, very, very important function. And we're going to remember how to interpret the exponential. Let me clear up the screen. And next, we move to logarithmic functions. The way that we're going to just use logarithmic is through using log. So log of, let's say, 3 and we get the result. Now, it is very important that this log is a natural log. It's in base E, not 10. Again, in our classroom, in our courses, in university, whatever, when we when we write log of 3, we all, almost write log of 3 to base 10, but not here. In MATLAB, everything is uh, calculating log of base E, which is the natural log. And in MATLAB programming, we need to understand and accept these concepts in order to be a programmer. You know, programmers' words are, are normally different. So when I say uh, log of, let's say, 5, it is, it is different from log of base 10. It's log of base E, which is called the natural log. That said, but we need also to calculate log of 10. In this part, we're going to cover how we can learn the log of 10. It's, it's very simple and the same way. So we type log of, but instead of leaving it with uh, passing a number to it, we type log of 10, then a number. Okay. So log of 10 of 2. And if I do that, you can see that th this number is now in, in base 10, logarithm of 10. We can do a lot of stuff to test our results, log of 10 of 1000. And as you see, we, we just, we interpret like that. So what number should we take a 10? to power 2 so we can get 1000. How many times we should multiply 10 so we can get 1000, which is the answer It should be 3. Log of 10 of uh, something bigger, let's do like that. And you, you see that we can get the result. Th this, is, this is really important. And you can try out different numbers to see how they work until you kind of feel confident about the uh, logarithmic functions and different parts associated with it. And to just to recap what I just said, I wanted to briefly reiterate what I explained. So when I say log of, uh, log of a number, it is in base 10 that in our textbooks equal to ln. But as you see, if I type ln, it's not it's not uh, known to MATLAB and it's gonna be interpreted as log of 34. It is exactly equal to ln of 34. Okay, so just I wanted just to show you what are they equal to if I type this one in MATLAB. But the log of 10 is the is the um, conventional logarithm function that we learn in our textbook in our classrooms and stuff like that. Let's move to next part. 